Hi, I'm talking about Saturn going back into Sagittarius, which it does on the 18th of September until the end of 2017. And this is like fire and ice, as we've explained in our blog. Um, it, Saturn has already done a four month stint in Sagittarius between January and June this year. And during that time, it indicated some of the extremes that we are prone to via our individual charts in our own lives because of the combination of Saturn in Sagittarius. Saturn it loves order, it loves, it tries to restrict and restrain and Sagittarius on the other hand is outgoing, it's expansive, it's everything to do with wanting to experience life with a capital L. So you can imagine these two things, these two key players, Saturn trying to rein in the overly zealous side of Sagittarius and steady that rhythm in order to reach objective focus. And steadying the focus is what it's all about here. So by October, when Saturn bites, hopefully we will have know, we will know what it is we have to avoid because we did things perhaps in a way which we can do better between January and March, particularly between January and March, or between January and June at the outset, at the outside, we did things in a way which were perhaps too extreme. Now, come October, we can approach those things again with a more modified or alternative attitude or set of methods. Um, Saturn in Sagittarius affects the economy, it affects the world economy, it affects our own economy, it affects business economy, it affects speculation, investment, things which carry a risk. Um, and really, it's in this respect that those extremes may come. But by the end of November, we will have passed that point where, where the risks were um, highest in March of 2015 and we are either um, completed or defeated and by that I mean we're completed in terms of we have the full set of what we need to proceed out to the end of 2017 with our loftier or more uh, heavier plans and objectives but getting the eye in getting the eye and the focus, painstakingly gathering the information which turns an all-out gamble into a calculated risk is something that Saturn, you know, in Sagittarius is requiring of us um, because it's folly versus caution and it's ambitious planning all the way but it's planning with that edge of daring, but always that cautionary note in the background. And if we do that, we'll know when to quit, when to, re when to pull in, when to let go, when to drive forward. All these things will be inherent in, in the Saturnine journey because Saturn takes two years. This time it will be a longer transit of Saturn, it will be three years. But within the Saturnine journey through one, one sign, any one sign, um, there is always that um, pacing which is needed. So if you want to know more about how Saturn in Sagittarius will affect your own life, then please contact me and I will undertake that work for you. Uh, Lynn at perceptivity.co.uk or go to our site perceptivity.co.uk and use the contact us form. So we'll be back with more, but in the meantime, very best wishes. Bye.